Okay, I am trying to do a video to show you that I do miracles, man. I keep bombing out because this, this is all new to me with the telephone. It's like a living hell, actually. So it goes like this. And hell is, this is hell. It goes like this, so. See, the water knows me, everything knows me the second it sees me. That's called, what I call... I was slain in the Holy Spirit 128 times at least, knocked out, had visions, like 160 hours worth of doing time out with God in the light, a couple of times with Jesus. And it goes, uh, what am I trying to tell you is I'm fortified with the Holy Spirit, I speak in tongues, it made me stronger in the Holy Spirit, this is all uh, based on bringing out important facts of life, that Jesus really is the Son of God, there I'm doing miracles, the angels are coming any minute, there I draw them all, and that the Mother Mary is really just Sophia Wisdom, and that's why Dina has these gifts, that's whose spirit, that's whose spirit, man, that's whose spirit, woman, I contain she that gives me endless revelations as God teaches me stuff and I that do nothing but help other people and write endlessly have visions and cry I'm a strong warrior for God I'm trying to do my miracles to show you people that this is real to whatever friends I have out there before it becomes world famous works very well on my head. I'm extremely magnetic on my scalp. Notice it's not moving. Let's just establish that. Now watch. That was one. Not moving, is it? Rise in the name of the Mother Mary. Well, okay then. Uncle uh, Moses works. Grandfather Aaron works. Jesus works. Your mama works. Get it? Those that are in the Holy Spirit of Truth are just flat out in another field. We're in the unified uh, field, man. And uh, we make non-stop connections. We're psychic. There's nothing but synchronicity, coincidences. God knows with Amika Colo. For one, and dear Mark, dear, dear Mark, the man who knows that music is about as profound as anything is ever going to much get in this universe, man. Well, this is super dog right here. It looks like I may have an extra few seconds. Oh, I'm sorry, Wonder Dog. He's stuck. Let's see what happens this way. Whoops, now he wants to fly. Let's see. Ah, major energy. I have everything in the universe to prove to those that already had faith. If not intelligence. You gotta have um, faith to have intelligence. First of all, you gotta have faith in your own. But, you know, you gotta have faith because, um, that there is a greater intelligence out there. Otherwise, I won't be interacting with this guy up there named Jesus. Or, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Jesus. Butt out. God. And then, of course, Jesus is involved. Or he would have slapped me. I'd have turned the other cheek and he'd have laughed, too. Because he's, he's here for laughter. We're here to overturn this crap and turn it back into 5D. Funny thing happened on the way to, you know, minding our own business for 5D. We fell down a freaking rat hole for all I care and got trapped in matter. And then uh, Jesus told me that we have to figure out that we had to figure it out together in order to go home, that we're like seconds away, that I personally help rid the world of judgmentalism and that I'm a, a love bug. And that uh, sure wasn't just me, though, that we're at that time. And so uh, the revelations of John a point to... Um, the opening of the seals of the, with the angels, and uh, God told me that that is the live sea scrolls, not the dead, or sorry, the live Jesus scrolls, not the dead sea scrolls, and then I am the one that's bringing the archangel army, who is actually led by Saint Michael and uh, your mother Mary, 
she, she whom Jesus was born from made him supernatural. She whose womb that he came through and whose water uh, is symbolic in the baptism, as God told me just recently, is the point of it being that we're reborn again. And the man, um, in other words, the woman whose mother was good enough for the Son of God, Jesus, is good enough for us. And without her, you're nothing but violent, retarded, blind, stupid, prejudiced, chauvinistic, and part of destroying the freaking planet once and for all. There has to be male-female equality. I've already proven there's no such thing as woman coming from man. No Eve never came out of no Adam uh, because we all have a mother and you cannot derive a square from a circle nor a circle from a square. I've proven it in male-female sacred geometry. Father God draws the male geometry. Little Dino over here draws the female geometry. Thus, my artwork is in the Holy Spirit and makes you get hypnotized and have holy dreams. This is to awaken you while you're sleeping in your subconscious and then God deals directly with you. You wake up, you have revelations like every intelligent person that has wise dreams. And it all started when I said, oh God, can you please give me back my dreams because they made me wiser. Okay, I don't do this on purpose. I've a million times watched a little matchbox car crawling up my head and laughed my head off. I normally catch whatever falls. Can you catch me now? I'm falling, Jesus. Can I, uh, I fell for him, man. Can I show you something? If I can find my flashlight or like, now that I'm on the spot. If you look up the story of the Veil of Veronica with the smug little priest guy, you know, all gleefully that he keeps that thing hidden except for one day out of the year. In other words, it was horrible. It was like, oh, it's all mine. No, it belongs to the universe, to the world, and to America, where this man was found by an American. And this plaque is supernatural as it will ever get. I have many, many beautiful pictures and the geometry, as well as the colors. That combination mark out there, it's, uh, it's like music. It's, uh, it took an intelligent designer. It took a certain mood of a... Uh, a happiness of creation, of triumph, uh, to do these amazing miracles and to be showing them. This is the true image of Jesus Christ. My friend Charlotte Bassan, the first woman alive that ever slew me in the Holy Spirit at the Pentecostal Church, about five years ago laughed because she said, notice that his lips are thick. He looks like he's black man to me. Well, maybe he is. If he is, he's a very light ma black man. Otherwise, he's a, you know, browner skinned white man. In any case, it's just part of the, you know, novel mysteries. But uh, the bottom line is that his love is real. Love is the greatest power. Love is why I'm able to do miracles. My love not for Jesus God or nobody on the planet except my brother Michael was a passion in me and is why I, I do the, the gifts that I'm doing of my drawings, my angels that I draw, uh, because... Um, because I had to send a line out to Michael, and that's the language that I write in. It's kind of like writing in the language of angels. This picture that's right here right now, might as well just show you. This is Chuck Connors, and this picture is like 80 years old or something. He would be over 100 years old right now. I want you to know that when I have looked at this picture, and my husband, Pete, did... Uh, he comes to life. His eyes will look directly at you. And this is the man, Chuck Connors, from the TV show The Rifleman, that taught me many secrets of sacred geometry a few years ago. He taught me the triangle, that two eyes, your two eyes, cannot look at the other person's two eyes. They have to look at, at in other words, it takes two of your eyes, or one, but the point being... You can't look at both of the other person's eyes at the same time. Thus, you're forming the first triangle. Your two eyes, bam, focusing on the other person. But you can't, you know, you get it? It would be like a parallel like that. This is just a secret esoteric of a billion, but I don't know. I'm just babbling right here and now in the Holy Spirit because I didn't know if this thing will work, if I'll ever get it posted. And if I could successfully show you that this is extremely legitimate. I do not do anything, and nor can anyone on the planet have any power in their fingernails to make anything move. And yet things turn and move. It's according to my looking at them that they may go faster, will normally go faster, like they cannot withstand me. Oh, I have to show you this. 
This is one of my highest uh, virtues. No, my highest uh, vices. No, my highest uh, tricks. Notice when I look through the eye, or sorry, through the hole of this thing. I hope that you caught that. It's very legitimate. I'm going to ground it where I feel the energy, the good energy, like going through my spine, making me stronger. I've learned that the balance of gr grounding things by anything that I slay, I normally catch a lot of times. Otherwise, they're big objects and I let them fall where I catch them too. They line themselves up together. They're magnetically showing that there's an intelligent person being behind this or the things wouldn't line up to each other it's more than just magnetics like if you see the way I'll ask uh, the Bible it's too far away right now and I, and it says Jesus on the side I'll ask him a question and boy it'll fall and land like standing up next to me in other words after a half an hour of this you will see the beauty of the touch of the creator as he is having given and take in this and doing it just not in some robotic or scientific only way this is all based on my love who i am and the fact that i'm interacting with the living god see i um, many times millions of times i drop things for the last two and a half years of which i've done over two million miracles i drop things because the second that they hit the tips of my fingers they themselves leave me and thanks i'll end it here it's long enough thanks guys it'll be a miracle if this gets out this is for you, Amika. I'm not very good at this. <sighs> well, that was draining. Thanks. Da 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 da.